Hello, it's uh, Scruffy Get again. Um, I finished bathroom from last time and it's been painted and everything and it looks okay now, it's better than bomb site it was before. I'll just give you a saw round. What I did was I, um, I encased this sink from boards that I found in a skip and put some sort of wooden roses around it that I got from the internet. And walls are being painted a pale blue as you can see with um, a royal blue on woodwork and now it looks a lot better. We've got a mirror up. Got a mirror there. Now I'm uh, turning my attention to this door. As you can see it's pretty warm and it wants sanding down. And unfortunately these days you can't, well you can get varnish but it's all this sort of milky white shitty varnish and what I'm going to do with this is um, use Danish oil on it. I'm past, in past the use varnish but this time I'm using oil on it. Anyway, I'll give you a tour of flat. This is a bedroom. Not brilliant, I know. Um, I oiled, stripped these, stripped and oiled these doors down. These two. And coming through into the living room. <coughs> That's what I did last time. And uh, ultimately, what you want is um, a finish like that. <coughs> you can see it there, bring it in a bit. Quite a lot of light in this room. You want a nice, smooth, shiny finish like that. As uh, we've done with an outer door. That's been varnished. As you can see, that's been varnished. Now rub that down with wire wool. This table, I found it not in a skip, but left outside by one of the neighbours. I totally stripped it down and re-varnished it. Now it's looking okay. And turning our attention back. To this door in bathroom. This is our final mission in here to get this door looking nice, to get it nicely sanded down and oiled and everything. And I'll show you the result when I've done it. There's uh, three grades of sandpaper for this um, there's coarse, medium, and fine sandpaper. And um, how you want to do this is First of all, you want to close the door like that. Rub it in with grain at work. Sand it all down. First of all, you want to use fine sandpaper to see how you go. And if you encounter any bits like that, these bits of paint, you probably don't want to use car. I cut, but by the way, I don't know if you've noticed this. It's um, it's a nice bit of recycling. This actually. It should please environmentalists. It's a washing machine. It's been painted and it's had some tropical begonias in it. And it's a good use of an old washing machine if you've got one. Rather than just bung it on skip it and bang some plants in it. It's a, a bar lake to make though because I don't know if you can see it up there. I know the light's not so good in here. Focus isn't very good up here. 
it's um, had a sort of a liner put into it. And uh, there you have it, an old washing machine you put plants in. We'll spoon up with this. Going back into the bathroom and back onto the subject of door. I've uh, finished sanding it down and I've got all paint and crap off it. And what you want to do now to have any sanding job is um, rub it down with turps. Rubbing it down with turps gets rid of all sandy residue that's spilled off. And I can see we've still got some paint left on there. That's going to have to be taken off. What you want is a bit of coarse sandpaper. That will get rid of um, any excess paint residue and it will do it fairly quick. Wet rag again with some moss. Turps. Just uh, rub your turps into your wood and you can more or less see your eventual finish on the door. I mean, it looks like it's going to be quite a good job. Just rub it nicely in. Sometimes you might need to set handles off just to get around edges but I didn't bother. Rub that in nicely. And that's eventually what it's going to look like. It's going to look a lot better. Once it's uh, had its Danish oil on it, you want to give it about an hour to dry before you put this oil on. One last bit of advice, um, if you are going to recolour a piece of furniture, strip it back to the bare wood and totally recolour it. What you need to use is this stuff, it's wood dye, it's red mahogany or oak or whatever wood dye. Three or four coats of that on your bare wood, then um, if you want to, you could use the varnish or wood oil for that. And that's exactly what we've done with this table. It's had about three or, three or four coats of wood dye on it, and it's had standard polyurethane varnish on it, three or four coats of that, and it's come up really well. Unfortunately, you can't get that type of varnish anymore, it's just a uh, milky shite. I don't know what it is exactly, but that's how it is. Well, here we are again back in bathroom, and uh, our door's looking okay now. It's had two coats of Danish oil on it, and light's a bit strong in here again. Uh, let's get some proper light on it. You can't do that. It's looking okay, it's had two coats on it, like I said, and lighting here is not brilliant for filming, but there you go. And uh, all that, I'm going to bits and pieces. Um, bathroom's now complete, fully done.